You may be planning a summer trip, but the need for blood donations never takes a vacation. It's true, especially as we go into the summer months. The need for blood in Central Texas often increases just as the supply dips. I spoke with Lana Julian, the trauma injury prevention coordinator with Baylor Scott and White to learn how everyone can do their part to save a life. We want to prevent injury, but they do happen and many times you guys need blood. That is correct. So we are coming up on the summer months here, of course, when it's so important. So what are some of the trends we see when it comes to summer? We got people outdoors, there's activities going on, and there is a certain amount of risk that comes with some of these activities. That's correct. So in the summer months, you have Memorial Day coming up right around the corner. And that to Labor Day is known as the 100 deadliest days in Texas. And there's a lot that goes into that as people were traveling for summer break and vacation. So more motor vehicle accidents. You have kids out of school, so bike accidents, different things with that. Increased injuries at the lake, so boating accidents, and um, then your regular ATV accidents yeah. and local farming accidents. As Absolutely, well. and we know blood supplies drop in the summer. Tell me briefly a little bit about that and why that is a, a normal thing, because it seems to happen every year. So blood product drops because your regular donors are going on vacation, so they're out of town. Our donation center also has a lot of blood drives that are partnered with schools, so your schools are out as well. And then you also have your increased trauma, so we're also using it more. Okay, tell us about donating blood, really. How long does it take? Is it an invasive thing? I know a lot of people are scared about that. It takes about 30 minutes, the whole process usually, especially if you make an appointment ahead of time. So you get registered, you go through your questionnaire, make sure that your hemoglobin is up. The good news with that is there's no more finger sticks. They now have a nice little device they actually put on your finger and check your hemoglobin. Oh, that's easy. So yeah. that's one less poke that you have to have. And then we have a really good team at Baylor Scott & White. They will talk you through everything, let you know what they're doing and try to make you comfortable. You can always bring a friend with you. Um, and that's always a lot of comfort when you have that friend and you're just talking through it. You can also make it fun and have races on who can fill their bag up first. Yes, and you are defending champion amongst your friends, so I will not be taking <laughs> you on. I know this for a fact. Uh, I know a lot of people have to meet some criteria in order to give blood. You need to be, you know, an adult you're looking for, yep. and then definitely maybe over 100 pounds. But other than that, as long as you're in good health, uh, you can really save a life here. And many times blood can be used for more than just one person's donation. The good thing about donating at our facility is we have our own blood donation center. So your blood's not going anywhere else. It is gonna stay here. It's gonna help everybody that lives local. Yeah, so you, if you're wondering if you're making a difference locally, you certainly are. And then uh, we want everybody safe. So slow down out there this summer, no accidents, no injuries, but if it happens, you're in good hands with the crew at Baylor Scott & White. And just a reminder, the blood drive is tomorrow, May the 22nd from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. If you haven't already, you can scan the QR code. We've got it right there for you. There it is, right there, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you can make an appointment with you on your phone. It's just that easy. Plus, there will be pizza provided by Baller Street Pizza. So enjoy. Hopefully, the weather.